Welcome to Mickey's Study Circle channel. In this video, we shall see how to create the given part using the Solid Edge 2023 3D part uh, modeling domain and also generate its orthographic projections using the Solid Edge draft. So now uh, coming to the part diagram, we can see that it is a part which is having a, so looking at the part, you can just see that it is a rectangular part with a length of 119 in the front plane having a total height of 45 mm. And also it is having a slant profile like this in its front view to a distance of 59 mm. And then it is having a depth of 59 mm. So what I can do is I can first choose the front plane and draw a rectangle of 119 cross 43. And then have a cutout of this profile or else I can first create a rectangle of 119 cross 19, which is the thickness of the rectangle uh, bottom uh, profile. So first let me create that. And then on the top plane, I can have a rectangle of this dimension that is uh, 45 cross the remaining height, which is uh, 41.5. Sorry, the height is 41.5, not 45. So 41.5 minus 19. So with this, let us check out how to create the 3D part. So let me begin by selecting the front plane. So in the front plane, let me generate a rectangle profile of height 19. And the total length is equal to 119. Then again, a line of 19 mm. So close the profile, select this rectangle and extrude this rectangle to the depth of the part which is equal to 59 mm so this is the front view so on this let us start creating the profiles to generate the top view so first uh, i can do a rectangle from the extreme uh, left so the width of this rectangle will be equal to 45 minus 22 which is equal to 23. So first let me create a rectangle of side 23 mm and the length will be equal to 59. Close this profile, select this rectangle and then extrude this to a height of 41.5 minus 19. This will be the rectangle profile towards the extreme left so now select the top plane again so now we'll create this rectangle so this height was 50 or 41.5 minus 19 so now uh, we will see that this uh, rectangle will be having a dimension of 22 as given in the part which is equal to 22 so this is 23 plus 22 is total 45 and i'll complete this rectangle So close the profile, select this rectangle. So now uh, you can just see that the rectangle has been created on the top plane with this distance. So for me, the protrusion will become a problem. So let me just uh, select the plane once again. So here I'll be drawing a line of length 22 and then complete the profile of the rectangle. So 
So extrude this. So what will be the height of this? So from the 19 mm plate, this is having a total height of 38 as given in the power diagram. So the height will be equal to 38. So this is the profile that is generated. Okay. So now uh, let me select the top plane again. So from this plane, again, let me generate a rectangle of width uh, 25 cross Okay, the total height will, uh, the length of the rectangle will be equal to 22 plus 59. So this 22 part is already done. So let me create a rectangle of width 25 and uh, length equal to 59. So from this plane, again, just make a slight uh, angular movement so that you select the bottom plane. So this is having a total length of 59, correct? And a width of 25. So complete this rectangle, select this rectangle and then extrude this to a height of 38. So now this profile is created. So this is the front view. So if you just see here, we should have a slant uh, plane or an inclined plane from this end to this end. So for that, let me select the right angle. So what I'll do is I'll just draw a right angle triangle of this damage. So this is the right angle triangle. So let me select this right angle triangle and extrude this to a distance of 59 mm. So this completes the creation of the part. So this is the front view of the part. This is the top view and this is the right side view. And this is the left view of the part, correct? So this completes the 3D model. So it was simple. We have created a rectangle of base length 119 mm thickness equal to uh, 19 and the length was equal to 119. And then we created this rectangle of dimension uh, 23, okay? And then this is 22, and this is a rectangle of thickness 25 and a length of 59. So with this, we complete the creation of the 3D part. So now let us save this. and then create the draft by selecting the isometric draft, modify the sheet properties, select sheet setup, change the sheet to A4 and tick show background, click save defaults, click OK, fit the sheet to the screen and now go for view wizard and select the part that you've created. Ensure the scale is one is to one. So this is the front view of the part. This is the top view. And this is the corresponding left side view in the right profile plane. So this is the isometric view. It is not required to us, correct? So now we'll complete the orthographic projection by drawing the XY lines. Select a line of thickness 0.13, draw the XY line, draw the X1, Y1 line. So from the point of intersection, draw a minus 45 degree line. So complete the projectors. So let us complete the front to top projectors first. So if you've got any incomplete lines, you can use the extend to next option. So now let me complete the side projector. So first let me complete the extreme uh, edges so that I can place the side view. Select the side view. Select the move option. Select the extreme bottom corner and place it on the end point of this projector so that you get the side view adjusted. So now complete this profile. So you get to see the end point of this right angle triangle plane here, correct? So this is how it is going to look in the side view. So with this, we complete the orthographic projections. So now let us go for dimensioning it. So this is having a distance of 59, 
22 and the total length is equal to 119 and this is given to us in the problem statement which is equal to 15 correct so this was what 119 minus the sum of these three which will be equal to 23 no need to show this and then this height sorry the width which is equal to 25 okay and then this height which is equal to 41.5 and this total height which is equal to 59 in the top view you're going to see the width of the object in the side view again you're going to see this height of 41.5 which is already shown here so in order to show this again so the remaining height of 41.5 plus this 19 so this 19 mm thickness can be shown here only and this height of 38 so the total height of the object is 57 38 plus 19 considering this extreme uh, height rib okay so here you can just show the depth of the object which is equal to 59 and then the total height which is equal to 57 correct so now go for the annotation select the font style to times new roman label the xy plane and then x1 y1 plane and label the views also so this is the front view this is the top view this is the left side view in the right profile plane select the angle option and show this angle as 45 degrees so with this we complete the creation of the orthographic projection of the part which was generated here so this is the part so this is the part that is generated in the 3d modeler and then this is the draft that is prepared so thank you all for watching